We want to talk about how we're actually uh, donating a CLK 55 put up to auction to support Cruiser Palooza this year taking place in Delray Beach, Florida. So yeah, the Cruiser Palooza is an event that was started for me. I had a spinal cord injury like 14 years ago. The event has gotten to the size that I'm now able to give back. Welcome back to the channel. Once again, you already know what it is. Patina Collective in the kingdom, in the Mecca, the Ben's heaven. This right here is a replica, the Punic Special R129 with the MAE wheels. We're back with my dog, Pete. Squeaky Pete right here. He's back for the 30th time to work on the 7.3. 32nd time to work on the 7.3. Well, we're gonna let the nightmare continue. We're heading now to the big stadium. We have something very special to do today, something close to our heart. So hey guys, we don't you know often sell cars or let things go, but we have a really special announcement we want to make. We want to talk about how we're actually uh, donating a CLK 55 put up to auction to support Cruiser Palooza this year, taking place in Delray Beach, Florida. I'm here with Vico and my homeboy Cruz, and it's a really amazing cause. It's something really special and close to our hearts. I know I've been supporting it a while with you and, and kind of working hand in hand. Cruz and I have been friends for a long time, so man, tell us about you know how the uh, the Palooza's been going, what you got planned this year, and then how you feel about having this Benz. Yeah, man. Um, well, first of all, you Patina boys, man. I appreciate what you guys are doing for the event. Um, so yeah, the Cruiser Palooza is an event that was started for me. I had a spinal cord injury like 14 years ago. Um, and it started with just the funds being raised going to like my life and my care. But it, the event has gotten to the size that I'm now able to give back. And I'm starting a nonprofit called the Cruzy Baby Initiative um, to be able to give back to other people living with spinal cord injuries so that we can like directly insert ourselves into their lives and increase their quality of life, uh, which is pretty huge because a lot of people don't have it as good as I do. I have a great support system. You know, I've met people like Dan over the years who just like come in big for me. So um, to be able to give back and help some of these other people is going to be amazing. We look forward to working with Cruz and doing something different uh, for the Patina Collective and for Cruz himself and his foundation. Um, also, he does painting. Yeah, great yeah. artist, please tell him. Yeah, so I do some paintings. I do it all by mouth because I, you know, I don't have the ability to use my arms and whatnot. Um, so soon I'm going to be doing uh, some paintings of a Mercedes and yep. some Mercedes logo for the boys. So yes, they can sir. put it up in their office or in the warehouse, wherever they want. Hopefully they're going to get him to collaborate with us on a car, maybe a paint, a hood or something. And then maybe we can auction that off in the future as well. Uh, limitless possibilities. Also collaborating on a lot of things in the museum. So looking forward to working with Cruz and his foundation. I want to also thank MB Market as well for being the guys to help us with this platform and supporting us and waiving all the fees to be involved there. So all around a great look to Blakely and the team out there. So it takes a lot of people to pull things together, but all in all, it's for the community. We know spinal cord injury affects a lot of people out there, especially people in the car racing community is huge and the automobile industry. Um, and so I think it's a really great cause. So all of you out there, um, if you want to support something great, please look at the auction, try to participate, uh, place a bid, be aggressive out there, have fun with it. And also please go to links and donate below. Uh, we'll provide those links to you as well. So thank you all so much. And Patina doing it once again, doing it big. Come on out to the Cruise of Palooza, April 29th, Saturday in Delray Beach, baby. Let's go. Let's make it Cruise happen. Cruise of Palooza. We'll probably have the museum going sometime in mid 2024. It'll take about a year to get everything right. We'll have like previews and people come earlier and like certain special events and stuff like that and get some cars going. But really like 2024, early to mid 2024 is when we'll have like tickets available. So that's then, a big thing. You know, there's not really a lot of car museums down here that are like fun and different, right. you know, so be cool. Yeah, so like what's the ultimate goal of the, the museum? Just to have people check out cool cars? Yeah, so the whole thing is that it's all about tuner Mercedes. Mercedes in the 80s, 90s and 2000s went pretty much bankrupt, like they, were, they weren't making money, they just want to make the best cars possible. They didn't really care about, you know, profit, and they were so focused on engineering to the point where it almost was bad for the company profit-wise. Yeah. So everything they did was to make like the craziest cars possible at the time. So a lot of people took them and customized them fur further, and were like, okay, I spent a hundred grand on only put another hundred thousand into making my Mercedes. So that's why you see these like 
videos of back in the day, all the super wealthy people had a Mercedes, but it was very highly customized, like made exactly to them. Like the crazy body kits. Like the body the kits, stuff. the interiors, like the radios, the motors, like, so that's when AMG was born. They started doing all these modifications then. It's all about like 80s and 90s tuner bits. Sick. Yeah, yeah. So it's yeah. like, uh, and that's all custom. That's all custom. It's actually owned by uh, the former king of Saudi Arabia. Mm -hmm. It was built for him out there. So it's like, it's won awards. It's like a really, it's all like historically relevant for Benz's, you know? So right. the whole goal was to like do something crazy down here and different in Florida and have it be something that's like over the top. And like 80s and 90s Benz's like this are like over the top. So it kind of matches them. See, the ones are owned by like famous tennis players, like rappers, like that's owned by another, that limo's owned by another, uh, another, um, another sheet. So we have like over 300 now and we'll probably put 150 to 200 on display at the museum. Yeah. And then other stuff in the vault. A lot of car museums are like very traditional. We're doing like immersive, artistic, like work with artists and stuff. It'd be great. It'd be a lot of fun. Vico's an amateur drifter. He's become more pro day by day. <laughs> Self-taught? Self-taught. That's his first lesson right now. <laughs> like I was saying to you earlier, my dad, I grew up, he always had like Peter Benz's, you know, not quite this, this nice, um, or an AMG or anything, but I grew up in Benz's and seeing this one uh, kind of took me back to when I was, you know, maybe early high school and I was like, uh, I remember seeing it on the street being like, I can see myself in that band right there. You know? So dope, dope that, that it came together. This is the one that we're doing for the event. We want to make sure something special in the name. Gee, something's gonna bring in some money for your foundation. Yeah. Okay. Hell yeah. So this is a 2002 CLK 55 AMG convertible. It's uh, finished in uh, brilliant silver metallic with a Designo, uh, it's a special order Designo black leather interior. The car came equipped with the factory with uh, the command navigation two piece uh, AMG wheels. It's uh, It has only 75,000 miles. It's a very good car, very low miles. Usually these cars have a lot of uh, miles on top of them. The top works, everything works. Very cool car, it's fast, very responsive, very nimble. Couldn't be a better fit for, for the, uh, the charity auction. It's not like fucking rent tech exhaust and everything. Yeah. He's finally done with this SL73 R129 from the Salon of Brunei, man. Finally get to look at it for the first time. Final, final, final stages. Let's go. Okay. Longest, longest I've ever had to take on a car. Next time I'm bringing the team. I did like a quick, oh, by the way, look. Leaving the roof off. I do think I pull this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, so that's the just from the clean clean towels, but yeah. I mean, fuck. Finally. It's, it's fucking amazing. Yeah, finally. Good job. Just wipe my sweat, I'm sorry. No problem. <laughs> that's it. Well, I hit the wheels with a little paw. It came out good. It looks fucking crazy, bro. My God. I mean, honestly, compared... I forget what it looked like when we first got it, but I know I have pictures and it was pretty fucked. Look good, you know what I'm saying? You got shit you didn't paint it? Huh? You got shit you didn't paint it? Oh man, that's what we do. We get that shit looking like glass. <laughs> You're such a good move. We hit it. We re hit everything. We compounded everything. I need to polish that out. He polished all this shit. We're impressed. <laughs> Next time it won't take so fucking long. No, it's fine. No, but I mean, I've already decided, honestly, because of how far I am, yeah, coming yeah, back and forth, it's a pain it. in the ass. No, sure. I have a team of guys in Wellington. I make them paint correct cars all the time. Okay. Yeah, man, SL73 looking immaculate. Shout out to Squeaky Pete. Shout out to my guy, Julio. I mean, sad and all the details. Car looks immaculate. It's a, few, it's a museum piece, finally. They did justice to the SL73. So we're going to put some new tires on it, and then it's going to look brand new and roll it back into the showroom where it belongs. Patina boy. Tina Collective, another special day here, always special when we're moving in these Benzes. Today we're taking out the shoots Kureki. I'm gonna get a dope ass reel for y'all for the Tina Collective IG. Let's do it. My first time driving the shoots Kureki on the road. I've always driven it around the stadium. Never really took it out, so let's see how it does. It feels great, it sounds amazing, it looks crazy. Let's go. 
Shoot Boys. Another day at the stadium, we just did three cars. We did the Schultz Gerecki 190E and we did two E60s, including an E60 Limited and the high mileage daily driver super fly cars. Another day at the Patina, another day full of reels. We all IG popping right now at the Patina Collective. Follow, let's go. All things hip. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you know, um, we have the biggest Mercedes collection in the world. You ever heard of the Patina Collective? I, I know where you guys are. That's oh, why I was okay. so inclined that it belongs you not Perfect then, great. Thanks for not jacking up the price because you know who we are. <laughs> I'm not like that. All right, brother. Thank you so much. Well, I appreciate that. It's a good Thank deal. You. <laughs> Thanks, sir. You're Thank more you. than welcome to come check it out, bro. Whatever. But I'm serious. I'm going to come down and check Yeah, it out. no problem. Yes. yes. Just the easiest sale of his life. What was that about? Vico found a golf cart that looks like the Pope Mobile. We've been trying to buy a golf cart for a long time. They've been looking for a golf cart, yeah, for a while. Ben's golf cart. Yeah, a Ben's golf cart. Not just not just the Florida street carts, like a Ben's golf cart. Not a Polaris, a Ben's golf cart. R107. R107, we found it. Vico found it. Yes. And we're taking it. Hey guys, three more cars coming from Bahrain. <laughs> yes. Schmeagel's sending them. Thank you so much. Another day at the Patina Collective. Shout out to my guy Daniel. Shout out to everybody in the team. Today, another day in the kingdom. Big things loading for 2024. Stay tuned, guys. Let's go. All things hip. All right, guys. You already know what it is. Patina Boys always receiving packages, always doing moves on the low. We're going to open this special box up and see what we got in here. Everything we're buying is historical. Everything we're buying is for the museum. And you guys will be able to experience all this stuff with us. So let's see what we got over here. First thing we see is a letter here. And this is from 1986. This is uh, October 21st and it says, Dear Sir, enclosed you will find the brochure you requested on the Zender body kit. This is for a Zender body kit for a Ferrari in 1986. The price is $8,312. A lot of interesting things in there. We'll take a deeper dive. And right here we got something even more crazy. The Zender catalog. So this is a very, very uh, exclusive catalog that not many people have. And this was probably on request only. And um, anything Zender related was in here. You're starting off with a Haram, but you know, you go into more interesting builds and you know, you got Volkswagen, you got Jaguars, you got all types of stuff. And you can just see this is them, you know, crafting the body kits. And Zender's another tuning company that made a lot of uh, interesting builds and we're actually in the process of picking up a very special Zender wide body SEC right now something that's never been seen on these streets so we look forward to that so yeah this is like the history of Zender you see it right here we go straight to Mercedes and here we are guys this is the Zender 126 crazy so 123 wagon that's crazy I think it's an earlier in period catalog because they don't have the wide body in here but they may have, then they had in a separate offering. Maybe. It was a custom kit too at that time. Very cool. Look at this guy. There it is. That's, a, that's the same wide body? Yeah. Oh, one I need. Station wagon, custom made station wagon. Back nice. Crazy tuner. This is insane. Wow. So shout out to Zender. We look forward to adding this book to the collection. It's going to go right next to the Lorenzer book right here. Yeah. Another very, very prominent tuner from the 80s, Zender. Another special package straight from Germany from our guy, um, Momo with Ravani. 
one of the dopest street brands in Berlin. A lot of the shirts you guys like that I wore, uh, for example, the CLK, the purple CLK, two other cool shirts, cool Rovani, convertible, the Ferrari. So these are all latest 2023 pieces from Rovani. You got the Rovani dog, you know what I mean? The Doberman. So uh, Rovani does a lot of stuff with the evil eye. That's like the trademark. And this is another cool shirt right here. You got the eyes and the mouth says Ravani. Next up, you know, you got the normal Ravani shirt. And now you got the big step up. You open it up, you know, we're used to putting our money in the shoe box. So this is what that symbolizes right there. Ooh, we got the all white, the baby blue. Ravani shoes, the big step up. I mean, you see it, this is the evil eye right here. So we will be rocking these shoes out in Florida. So thank you Momo for the all white. And we got another big step up. Ooh, this is the black with the gray, the softer one. So very dope. I'm gonna hit him up and ask him if he has size 14 for our guy Daniel. Damn, you got some big feet. Show him the couch, show him the couch. Show our people the couch. He got the W140 couch. I mean, you already know guys. <laughs> Let's see. Look how I'm doing it, bro. Look. And I already had the Ravani socks today. Just, I was already rocking the Ravani socks, all right? But yo, I need size 14 for my brother. I know it's hard to get. Well, we gotta get some ball players eventually. They yeah, might be, you know? I, I got a few ball player homies that might yeah, want yeah, something. Yeah, also, yeah, yeah. we could do a special order for Daniel. Yeah, yeah, it's dope. Good to see you, homie. Say a shout out to the, <laughs> sh shout out to the channel real quick. Shout out to Patina, shout out to Vico, shout out to Daniel, shout out to Vintage Bands Collector, the biggest in the world. Inspiring millions of people. Shout out to you, bro. Shout out to Momo Maserati. All right, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ravani boys, let's go. All right, bro, I'll hit you later. Thank you. We're just gonna go check out the museum, see the lighting plan, do some rough lighting plans, see how it's coming along. And then we're gonna head over to the stadium to see what cars make sense for the museum, what cars you may need to put in other places, what cars you may give out to some friends or make available to people out there, you know. It's nothing for sale, but sometimes, you know, triples, quadruples of things don't make sense. So we're gonna see what really belongs inside those hallowed halls, those historic places of that museum, you know, versus what really shouldn't be there. So we're gonna take a look. Yeah, we're gonna have to make some hard decisions, guys. It is what it is. We don't wanna waste your, your time, guys, and we don't wanna waste our own time. We wanna do it right, we wanna do it right from the get-go. So we're gonna have nothing but cars you've never seen before. So we don't really care to put regular cars in the museum. It's gonna be only tuner cars and only unicorns. So we're gonna to try to refine and uh, like re-envision uh, the collection for the museum. All right guys, we gotta start sorting through these cars and curating the collection that we already curated for the museum. So when we're talking museum, we're talking rare cars, we're talking about tuner museum, we're talking about things you've never seen before. This right here is something, you know, a car we always wanted growing up, 600 SL from Japan, stock, low mileage, very clean, but not tuner museum worthy. When you experience a car, you want to be able to experience it for real, and it's all about moving around it, checking it out, being able to look at it from different angles. You know, you want to hit that car visually from different angles, you know? Think of it in an area where you could jam three cars, you can kind of show one car nicely and walk around it. So that's what we're trying to create that type of experience and that immersion. So in order to do that, we gotta let some things that really just don't make sense that we can't give that special treatment to, you know, go. All right guys, so for me to go to the other side where the other cars are, I gotta go through the G-Wagon. So we gotta be creative over here, too many cars. That guy, that one was not good. That one had like problems all the time. That yeah, so we'll get to that one. Leave this one. Uh, 500E. Let it go. Let it go. The Brabus. Car special. I want to do a project out of this. The right hand drive R129. We got it for peanuts. All things hip. Back at the museum building the most monumental building in Florida. It's flooding everywhere in Fort Lauderdale right now. So this is the most rain this area is gonna see. So we're in good shape if it does rain a lot here, not like our other locations where we have a little bit of threat. We're far from the coast, so we're doing pretty good. So you can see it's way different now. We raised a lot of the ACs. The walls are getting painted white. And we're windows kind of mocking are blocked up. out. Windows are blocked out. <laughs> 
We're mocking up what a showroom area would look like with all the proper lighting. The floor, we need to grind and polish and all that, and then do our decorations and everything like that. The bathrooms need to get redone. There needs to be a kitchen redone, some lofts put in, but the shell is pretty much almost there. The floor is gonna be like polished concrete. It's gonna be nice, coming together. This is the area, say, like, this is how bright the rest of the window, how it's gonna be everywhere, which I think is pretty good. Yeah, so we finally put in some lighting, guys. You can tell it's the same lighting that we use in the showroom. It's like uh, showroom lighting. Like jewelry display lighting. Jewelry display lighting is we are displaying jewels, these rare cars. So one good thing about this rain, it's actually pointing out leaks in the roof. This roof is pretty old. This building was built in the 70s, right? Built in the 70s. So I think water's coming in there. Over there. See so coming behind, maybe coming behind. Over there. Over there. There, this is dripping out the ceiling. So they were here earlier patching things up. It's finally starting to feel like the Ben Stadium, just a, you know, a different format, much larger. It's two of them in one. It's not as high, so it doesn't feel as big, but it feels much bigger than when we first got it. So introduction to tuners, you know, things like that. In this area, that's kind of what the video is for. And then this thing is all introductory space here. And then you come kind of into a main hall. You can go down there, maybe three rows. Two, two. You go down there, and you work your way down. Then swing back into this main area here. What, was I, what I was thinking is the main area here is like fewer cars, kind of centerpiece right here. It's by the bathroom. It's by where we're gonna be working, by the bat, by the little kitchen we're gonna have for ourselves. This would be like center area, like, oh, this is like the hotness right here. And the real heat. The multi-generational heat will be right here. Couple exhibits down there, specialty exhibits and everything else will just be cars. Once, it, once it's functional, then we could lay it out exactly how we need it. All right, guys, another day in the kingdom, another day at the Phoenix Collective. We just did the walkthrough in the museum building. How do you feel about that? I feel great, it's gonna come along awesome. This last trip, you know, we've been talking about all the inspiration we got from all the things we've been doing our whole lives. It's gonna really come together here, so yep. I think it's nothing but looking up and it's gonna be beautiful when it's all said and done, guys. So everyone around the world is looking forward to seeing these cars in person. You will be able to see these cars in person. 2024, Patina Boys coming straight to you. Let's go. Biggest, biggest.